Hey friends, so we're going to be going out and taking some plankton samples in a little while. You're going to see the results, but I want to introduce you to a plankton net before we get started. So right here, this is a small plankton net. We're going to be using a larger one, but this is easy to see in the frame here. So this net, if you look very closely, you may be able to see that it has little tiny holes. You can probably not really make them out, but you can see through the net. This is an 80 micron net. So each hole is 80 microns in size. It's going to catch everything that's 80 microns or larger living out in the lake. So a typical plankton net consists of an aperture. This is where water is going to go in as we pull the net through the water. All right, so water goes in here. It's pushed down through the net. And our sample is collected in some sort of a collection container at the end. This is where the plankton will end up. The rest of the water will filter through this net and back out into the lake. We have a weight on the line to keep it sunk down in the water. And our line may be marked in meters if we want to try to measure how deep into the water we're going to be going. These are half meter marks. So, line, sinker, aperture, the net, the collection bottle. So we'll be out, we're going to collect samples from near the surface and deep down in the lake. We'll compare the results. See you in a bit.